Hey, welcome back to Soul Whispers Tarot. I'm Karen. Today's reading is their thoughts of you this weekend. So what are they thinking? What are they feeling? We're really going to look deeply into their mind and into their heart. There's four crystals for you to choose from. So the cards number one is this green one here. Set of cards number two is the amber. Set of cards number three is the amethyst sphere. And set of cards number four is this one here. So take some time to tune into the energies of these crystals. See which one resonates with you the most. It's fine to be drawn to more than one of these as well. And you can pause the video right now if you need to. And then we'll get straight into the reading. Welcome to set of cards number one. You've chosen this green stone here. So this is your person's thoughts of you this weekend. Their thoughts and their feelings. Looking into their mind. Looking into their heart. And we've got purely messages cards today. The messages from the heart and the my soul's desire cards are available for purchase on my website if you're interested the details are below this video okay so their thoughts of you this weekend lock and key social media risk taking shatter wounded okay so this weekend they're really feeling like and thinking about how you're this perfect fit how you open each other's hearts how you have this amazing connection and they really feel that you are some sort of soulmate or twin flame they really feel this energetic amazing uplifting loving bond and they feel that there's destiny at play in your connection you're the lock and the key they may be i'm hearing from spirit and they may be wondering how to open your heart more maybe they feel that you're guarded or in some cases they are they feel like they are the one that's guarded and they're wanting to open their heart but there's some wounds there we have the wounded card um this weekend, your person's really like imagining what it would be like to take a leap of faith and reach out to you or take your connection to the next stage. But they're fearful that if they take a leap of faith, that they're going to come into a tower moment with this shatter card and they're going to end up heartbroken and wounded. But they really want to take this leap of faith. But this weekend, I really feel like they'll be spending quite a bit of time looking at your social media or just checking your social media quite a lot, spying on you. Um, in some cases, you may hear from them. They may communicate with you online. Um, in some severe cases, they may be catfishing you. For some of you, that will resonate. They've created fake profiles to try and spy on you or talk to you online. Um, feeling a bit obsessed because I feel like they they have this back and forth energy. Like they want to take a leap of faith, but they're really, really afraid of being rejected. They're really afraid of getting heartbroken. Um, so I feel like they spend a lot of time just... Uh, looking at social media and trying to feel close to you through doing that. So risk taking. This weekend they're thinking about this. Some of them they will take this risk. Taking a leap of faith. Trusting the divine. They're trying to trust their intuition. I feel like they'll be, they've been and they will be trying to go into their gut instincts. Into looking at what their heart's telling them about this situation. And they, they want to take this risk against all odds they want to take this action they want to have this courage and really go for it but um i feel a lot of them they're just thinking of this and wishing they have the courage hoping that they can have the courage uh, they may be trying to look to see what's going on with you to see you know if it would be a good time to come forward or not um, but they're afraid of this shatter card this is like the tower card in the tarot sudden change shocking transformations endings wake up call end of an era blessing in disguise so yeah they're, they're afraid of everything falling apart in your connection um 
So they're in, a, in they're in some sort of comfort zone and they know it, but they want to come out of a comfort zone. Um, and they're afraid of being wounded. And I feel like many of them already have these wounds of abandonment, rejection, and they're really fearful. So they may that may be why you find yourself in some sort of situationship with this person. And it's not because they don't have these deep feelings for you. It's because of the fears. They don't want to rock the boat and lose what they already have with you. So they're afraid of this intense emotional pain. Um, it creates a lot of fear within them. They are going to be feeling a bit down and depressed because they know that they're emotionally unavailable. Um, but it's just because of these fears. They're scared. And so they have these defenses up and they they feel triggered quite easily but they're trying to heal this they're trying to um, have that courage i'm coming to you quickly eight of wands so for some of you they will be coming forward they will be taking this risk against all odds um because they're tired of it being a situation ship or it's sort of being stuck in the same kind of energy i'm coming to you quickly for others of you they'll be thinking about this this is what they're thinking about and that's what they're desiring. They wish they could be right by your side. They wish they could spend the weekend with you kind of thing. I want you so badly, yeah. They're going to be feeling um, a lot of passion, a lot of desire, a lot of sexual tension as well, a lot of sexual fantasies. I'm so weighed down, ten of wands. So, yeah, I feel like they're weighed down by their fears. They want to take a, a leap of faith. They just want to throw caution to the wind, but they're feeling weighed down. There may be certain obstacles in your connection. and um, But it's a ten of ones. It's like nearly at the stage where they can lay down these um, burdens or obstacles. I'm, more, I'm much more secure in myself than nine of pentacles so this person they want to become secure in order to take that leap, leap of faith and follow their heart so i'm really feeling this back and forth kind of energy like they're, they're trying to feel secure sometimes they are this may be why for some of you this person's hot and cold they come forward at times when they're feeling that courage but then they overthink things they're afraid of getting hurt so then they they withdraw so for some of you you could even experience that just this weekend you could experience them reaching out but then them going quiet again I have to protect myself. Yeah, nine of wands. So there's all these wands here. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of desire in this person to take action, follow their heart, be courageous. But I have to protect myself. It's this subconscious just like sabotaging them, creating a lot of fear within them. So let's look at the My Soul's Desire cards. I will never be happy if I can't be with you. Okay, so this person is really wanting to be with you. They'll be imagining that this weekend, what that would be like and feeling kind of depressed or down and if they don't have that with you. So this person has a lot of attachment. Um, I feel like they've attached a lot of pressure onto themselves and onto this connection. They really see you and the connection as a major source of their happiness and they're afraid of losing that so that is why in some cases they may keep it at the status quo in some sort of situationship but it's because they're afraid that you will reject them and you won't be happy with who they really are if they allow themselves to get close to you and they don't want to lose what, what they already have with you and they're hoping uh, that slowly um, the firm foundation can be built upon but then they have these desires to move things more quickly I will get in touch very soon. So some of you, you will be receiving communication from this person this weekend or very soon. This is what they want. They want to take this connection further when they're not feeling fearful. Yeah, look, I fantasize about you every day. So they'll be, they'll be fantasizing about you all weekend. And I feel like this person does that a lot of the time anyway. So I'm terrified of being vulnerable with you in case I get hurt. I'm sorry. Yeah, they have 
insecurities and interestingly that's going over that I'm much more secure in myself they're really trying to find this security this self-esteem this confidence but they're terrified of being vulnerable they're terrified of they I feel like they've attached a lot of goals dreams hopes to the future of your connection and uh, if they come forward that could shatter all of that and then you know they want to they kind of want to hold on to the dream you know if they don't have you at least they have the dream sort of thing i'm totally obsessed with you please be mine so yeah there's an obsession there's a, a, an attachment they really want to be with you and they feel a lot of pressure um, because it, it kind of feels like a life or death situation and they'd rather not risk it until they feel feel more secured in themselves, more secured in the connection. So I'm going to continue this reading on in Vimeo. Alternatively, if you join the membership, you have access to all extended readings plus an extra pick a card reading every week, uh, weekly Twin Flame podcasts and a monthly meditation. So we're going to look deeper into your person's thoughts and feelings of you this weekend and beyond and um, looking really deeply into their head and their heart so I hope to see you over on Vimeo or in the membership and if this reading has resonated with you please give it a thumbs up write a comment share it subscribe thank you so much take care bye welcome to set of cards number two you've chosen the beautiful amber so this is looking into your person's thoughts of you this weekend how they're feeling as well diving deep into their head their heart and we've got lots of messages cards today the messages from the heart cards and the my soul's desire cards are available on my website if you want a copy the details are below this video so let's get straight into to looking at their thoughts and feelings of you this weekend. Fear. Begging. Love potion. Desire. Man cave. So this person's feeling quite stressed out about your connection for some reason. They're feeling head over heels for you. They're feeling a lot of desire. They're going inwards a lot, thinking about you a lot. You, you are on their mind. Their mind's racing about something. Maybe some sort of conflict happened between you or some sort of separation or you've distanced yourself or in some cases they're just feeling insecure. But with this begging card, it says wanting you back regretful, apologizing, wanting a second chance, desperation, needing you, life or death or needy. So maybe something's happened between you and they are really afraid of losing you. They're begging for you back. You may hear from this person, perhaps they have a lot of fear. Um, they're in this fight, flight or freeze response right now. They have excessive worrying about you this weekend. Uh, stalling, running, avoidance, sleepless nights, thinking worst case scenarios. So this could have been a case where they feared opening their heart to you. They feared being that vulnerable and therefore they've um, had a, a lot of avoidance. Um, they've been uh, staying in their man or their woman cave too much, taking a lot of alone time. Um, problem solving okay a lot of fears may have got in the way of this person coming forward and taking action or taking your connections um, a step further so this weekend uh, I feel maybe that it's kind of blown up in their face a little bit or something and they're really fearful that you're moving on in some cases it could be uh, maybe nothing's happened between you maybe they're looking at your social media or they feel like or know that you're moving on or something in your life or they're just afraid of that they're paranoid of that or something uh, in some cases maybe you are moving on and they're they're very fearful they're very scared of that so they're going inwards a lot in their man cave to me this is like them being in their mind, their mind racing, they're trying to problem solve, they're trying to, I feel like they're trying to figure out how you feel about them, but because their mind is racing, they can't see clearly, they can't feel their intuition because their mind's trying to grasp at um, conclusions and answers. Um, 
So, yeah, I feel like they're isolating themselves. Uh, even if they're out and about doing stuff, they'll be caught up in their mind. So people will see them as very distant. Hermit, sadness, wounds, shadow work. So, yeah, they're feeling very triggered this weekend. Um, a lot of shadow sides coming up. And they're feeling a lot of sadness, a lot of fear. With this love potion and begging, it's like they're, they're wanting to do something to really recapture your attention, make you fall in love with them. Maybe they kind of manipulated you in some cases. Maybe they wore some sort of mask or put on some sort of pretense to really make you fall head over heels for them. Maybe they would got discovered or something like that. Um, and they're fearful because maybe it made you angry. Maybe it made you feel like they deceived you or something. Um, but they're feeling head over heels for you. They're feeling all this desire. They've fallen in love or they fell in love with you really quickly. They're infatuated. They're obsessed. They're hooked. They find you irresistible. So they're feeling this powerful magnetic pull to you. But if they can't get close to you, it's, it's making them feel... Um, re a lot of tension, a lot of frustration and fears. Um, they're trying to make you captivated. So you may hear from this person this weekend. They're trying to hook you back in or something. And they're trying to, um, make you fall in love, open your heart. Uh, but they're really looking at your social media. I feel they're really obsessing about you. They feel this desire, a lot of sexual tension as well. They're fantasizing about you this weekend. They're feeling extremely passionate and obsessed. A lot of lust. They're wanting to make love, intense sexual chemistry. But there's all, also this flame in their heart. They feel, you know, it's not just about sex with this person. They feel deep feelings. So... Uh, I feel like this person's hooked on you and they get triggered quite easily. Um, so let's look at these messages here. Harmony is coming back. This is what they're hoping and praying for. They want harmony. They want peace. They want to feel reassured. They're feeling insecure this weekend. They want reassurance. Like I said, they're trying to go inwards to try and figure out how you feel like intuitively, but their fears are getting in the way. It's too difficult for me to come forward. Okay, so I feel like this may have uh, led to the breakdown of this connection at this time because they kept being in their, their man or their woman cave or being in their fears and um, being emotionally withdrawn or not taking your connection uh, a step further in terms of commitment. So yeah, eight of swords, they're all in their head. They're feeling stuck in, in these fears at this time. At this time, um, I want to share my life with you, the Ten of Pentacles. This person has this desire, this dream of being a really good provider, being dependable, being there for you. And this may be uh, the very things that they felt like they couldn't uh, provide for you. Um, and they knew that you were wanting that and so they they felt all all this pressure they placed on their own shoulders and not feeling good enough a lot of insecurities but they want to share their life with you they're thinking about that a lot this weekend um, I want you so badly the night of one so a lot of passion a lot of sexual fantasies as well and then feeling that uh, disappointment of not being with you. I love you with all of my heart and soul. The king of cups. So yeah, this person has genuine love for you. They want to give you their heart. They want to be emotionally stable. So they can open their heart. Um, maybe they've just really struggled with showing that. Because this is going over the top of the man cave. They've hidden their feelings. Um, they've kept their cards close to their chest kind of thing. Because of fears, fears of them not being good enough, basically. So this person genuinely loves you very deeply. It's just their fears that have been getting in the way. I feel foolish when I see how immature I was in the past. So yeah, they, they feel embarrassed um, and they regret like breaking your heart or upsetting you or wearing that mask and making you feel deceived. Um, they may have played some mind games to test your feelings as well or hinted at their feelings rather than being direct. Um, and they regret that. They feel foolish about that. 
I will never be happy if I can't be with you. So yeah, they've they've placed a lot of their uh, sense of happiness on the shoulders of this connection or on your shoulders, on the outcome of this. And therefore, there's a lot of pressure. They have a lot of fear of it not turning out in the way that they are wanting. They have attachment. They have dependency on you. And in some cases, that's why they've kept it in a situationship rather than moving forward with you and taking it to the next stage because they're afraid of losing what they already have. They're fearful that if they get close to you, you're going to see the real them and not love the real them or it's going to show you that they they uh, can't give you what you need or something like that. Uh, they feel it. I'm hearing some of them are feeling unqualified for the role of being your partner, but I feel like they've been trying to work hard behind the scenes to feel good enough and achieve certain things within themselves, within their life, to feel good enough. Um, but that's taking a long time. So in the meantime, you know, they're, they're afraid of you losing patience and giving up on them. So in the meantime, they've been putting on some sort of mask to try and keep you interested but it's just come across as a load of false promises for some of you we are about to reunite this is what your person's thinking about this weekend um this is what they're hoping this is what they're dreaming about that maybe you know what they were telling you and they were really hoping they could fake it till they make it kind of thing but i feel like this healing process has taken longer than they they wanted I'm so very sorry. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. So, yeah, they know that you, you felt deceived. You felt like they've strung you along, but that wasn't their intention. Well, it kind of was, but they always had this in, intention that at the end of the day, they would be ready to open up and be with you. But they felt too needy of you and they didn't want to appear weak. So yeah, they they feel obsessed. They do have codependency, or sorry, they do have dependency on you. Um, and they didn't want to appear weak, so they put on this mask of being strong. But ironically, it may have been a mask where you know that they, they were weren't telling you their feelings. They were coming across as cold and emotionless, and it made you feel confused. It made you feel hurt. But they just had that intense fear of being really vulnerable in case you rejected them so i'm going to continue this reading on in vimeo or, or, or alternatively it's available in the membership and if you join the membership you also have access to weekly pick a, extra weekly pick a card readings a weekly twin flame podcast energy update monthly readings and of course all access access to all of the extended readings that will be released so i hope to see you over on vimeo or in the membership if this reading has resonated with you please give it a thumbs up write a comment share it subscribe thank you so much for joining me here take care bye welcome to set of cards number three you've chosen the amethyst sphere so this is their thoughts and feelings of you this weekend what's on their mind what's in their heart we've got loads of messages cards to look into the messages from the heart cards and the my soul's desire cards are available on my website if you would like a copy the details are below this video so let's get straight into it. Their thoughts and feelings of you this weekend. Man cave. So that's man or woman cave. Betrayal. Shatter. Courage. Love call. So I feel there's been some sort of towel moment, some sort of betrayal that's happened uh, within your connection. Um, and this is really playing on your person's mind right now. It could be that they were in their man or woman cave. They weren't opening up to you. You felt severely rejected. In some cases, it could involve a third party or cheating or uh, deceiving you in some sort of way, which led to a towel moment. So take it however it resonates. And um, but they're really trying to have this courage to take a leap of faith and come forward, express themselves, and reach out to you. Some of you may be hearing from this person this weekend with this love um, call card. But yeah, so 
this weekend your person's really going inwards taking alone time they're trying to problem solve what's ever whatever has happened between you both they're feeling depressed they're isolating themselves because their mind is racing about whatever's happening they, they basically the impression i get they they feel like you are moving away from them that they're losing you and they're really afraid of that so they're being a hermit they're in sadness all these wounds have been triggered up they're doing the shadow work but they're trying to problem solve um they may be trying to make some sort of decision maybe they were on the fence in your connection they were hot and cold back and forth um indecisive and you felt like they were stringing you along and so maybe you walked away because of that they were just it was like trying to get blood from a stone trying to get this person to open up and tell you their feelings or make some sort of decision so they kept you hanging they kept you waiting and some of you you're not waiting any longer because you felt like it was a continual betrayal you felt like um they weren't uh, respecting you or in some cases there has been deception, there's been lies, which has led to intense heartbreak within you, you felt stabbed in the back, it's led to a separation, a breakup, it could have been cheating, it could have been a third party, so this person, they're ruminating over what's happened, um, and how it's led to this tower moment, breaking down of the connection, you walking away. It says sudden change, shocking transformation. You know, maybe they were taking you for granted. They thought you'd always sort of wait around for them. Or if they were disrespecting you, they thought you'd always just put up with that. Um, endings, wake up call, end of an era, blessing in disguise. Um, so yeah, they're fearful that you're moving on. They're trying to have this courage to call you in some cases for some it's they're trying to have the courage to not be so emotionally unavailable and having so many defensive up and being in their man or woman cave for others they know they've done wrong they know they've uh, cheated on you or they know that they've um, deceived you betrayed you in some sort of way but they're just trying to have the courage to call you because they think that they know that they're in the doghouse. They know that you're going to be angry. So they're, they're trying to have this courage. In some cases, I'm hearing from spirit, they try to put on this pretense that they are the tough person. They're tough. They don't show their emotions. You know, they don't need love. This is maybe the pretense that they were kind of wearing. Um, strength, leap of faith, doing what's right, bravery, confidence, going for it, protector, stability, dependable. So in some cases, they're trying to gather this courage um, to to uh, call you, get in touch, express their love, telling you their true feelings. They're missing you. Some of you, they will be reaching out to you this weekend. Um, but yeah, some were wearing a mask of trying to be the tough person. Um, and that that's not what you wanted you need this person to be their true self i feel insecure around you so yeah at the core of this is their insecurities and wow this is the queen of swords so yeah they know that you're angry they they think that if they come forward to you you're going to shut them down um so they're they're ruminating about this they're stressing they're worrying they may be having sleepless nights this weekend because they're just trying to problem solve. They're trying to figure out how do I get back into your good books? How do I get back in in your good graces? So you open your heart to me again. I will stay in control of this situation. Five of Wands. So this person, for some of you, could be very controlling. And if this is the case, then this person isn't for your highest good but in other cases this is they had so much fears that their subconscious was trying to stay in control and just put on a mask that they felt uh, that they are more confident more secure than what they really felt they were trying to mask and hide intense insecurities so that would have come across as them being cold distant unemotional but then you knew that they did feel these deep emotions because you know you've got your own intuition right and there would have been times where i feel this person has shown you their feelings or you've caught glimpses of it and then they've gone back to sort of 
ghosting or being avoidant. It's all falling apart, the five of cups. Okay, so this normally shows a person looking at three cups that are spilt over. So yeah, this weekend they're really worried that everything's just fallen apart and there's no going to be no second chances. Behind the person, it normally shows two cups still remaining upright, which is like the two of cups card. Happy, balanced relationship, seeing eye to eye. So that's what they're hoping for. They're hoping that you can still see eye to eye, that you can fix this, that you can come back on good terms. I'm much stronger now. Wow, and that's over courage. So... So in some cases, they have genuinely learnt from the situation. If you feel in your heart that this person has good intentions, but if you feel in your heart and intuition that this person doesn't have uh, good intentions and this is more about their controlling behaviour, this is my truth with the love call. So, King of Swords. So... In some cases, they're trying to have this courage to reach out and communicate with you, even though they know you're in the Queen of Swords energy, which is you may cut them off. Um, some of them, they're, they're, they're plucking up the courage to be bold this weekend, to reach out regardless and um, try and make amends with you. So let's look at the My Soul's Desire cards. I want to get back together with you. I miss you so much. So, yeah, they want a second chance. Um, they're, they're definitely thinking about this a lot this weekend. They want a reconciliation. I tried to be happy with someone else, but it backfired on me. So this will resonate for some of you. This is what that betrayal was about. They tried to be happy with someone else, probably because the connection with them, with them was easier because they felt less emotions. I feel like... Uh, you see beyond this person's masks and it really triggers this person. So they felt all over the place. They wanted to stay in control of their emotions, remain balanced. So it may have been tempting to try and make it work with someone else where they didn't feel that emotional roller coaster. But again, that was because they didn't really feel uh, much feelings. Please don't leave me. I'm so sorry. I can't live without you. So yeah, you, you may hear from them where they're begging you for a second chance saying they can't live without you. They're thinking that they can't live without you. They're really afraid this weekend of you leaving them. I feel foolish when I see how immature I was in the past. So yeah, they, they do see themselves as immature. Um, for some, they're genuinely uh, having regrets about this. But if it's like someone who's controlling, they know about this immaturity. They're aware of it. Um, I'm too needy of you and I don't want to appear weak. So here's another confirmation of that. They're all trying to put on a mask of being stronger, appearing stronger, because they thought that would impress you. Um, be, they're trying to hide their insecurities. Um, but some of them, they know the game is up. They know that you see what's been going on and they feel genuinely foolish about that. So I'm going to continue this reading on over in Vimeo or alternatively, if you join the membership, you have access to all extended readings. You have an additional pick a card reading every single week. You have weekly Twin Flame Energy Update podcasts and a monthly healing meditation. So we're going to look deeper into your person's thoughts and feelings of you this weekend and what they're hoping and desiring is going to happen between you both. So I hope to see you either on Vimeo or in the membership. And if this reading has resonated with you, please give it a thumbs up, write a comment, share it or subscribe. The details for the extended are below this video in the description box. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye. Welcome to set of cards number four. You've chosen this crystal here. So this is their thoughts and feelings of you this weekend. What's in their heart, what's in their mind. And we've got loads of messages cards to look into. We have the messages from the heart cards and the my soul's desire cards. These are available on my website for purchase. If you want a copy, the details are below this video. So let's get straight into looking at their thoughts and feelings of you this weekend. Tortoise. 
love potion, ghosting, holding on, and crossroads. Okay, so I feel your person thinking about you all the time this weekend, tortoise and ghosting. This person has a tendency to think and think and think and fantasize about you, daydream, but there may not be someone who takes a lot of action in your connection so far, but they feel, oh my God, they feel head over heels with this love potion. They're falling in love or they fell in love with you quickly. Um, infatuation obsession they're hooked they find you irresistible they're captivated by you i feel like they're worried that you feel like they're manipulating you and trying to fool you but really it's just because their fears that make them hold back maybe they've been a bit hot and cold or maybe somehow you know their feelings for you maybe they've hinted their feelings for you um I feel like this person, they have uh, put on some sort of mask. They have tried to impress you. They have tried to pull you into them. Look, holding on with this uh, rope. They've tried to pull you into them, get you hooked on them with this love potion energy. So in some cases, it could have been them wearing some sort of mask or maybe some sort of false promises. But I feel like in most cases, this person hasn't done this to purposely hurt you or deceive you for like ill intentions or evil intentions. I feel in most cases, but trust your gut on this one, most ca cases they felt like their only option to draw you into them and make you hooked on them was to put on some sort of pretense because really they're someone that's very introverted or shy or not feeling good enough they hide their true self away in their shell so they don't feel good enough for you so they felt like they had to get you hooked in some kind of way um get you like overwhelm overwhelm you with these feelings of love in some sort of way um because they know they need to choose with this crossroad crossroads card they need to choose love over fear but it's like love and fear keeps them on the fence keeps them being hot and cold or hinting their feelings and wearing a mask but then ultimately still staying in their shell kind of thing so yeah they're slow moving in reality. They may have been making out that things are progressing faster or, you know, false kind of promises about what's going to happen. How is it, how is it, how it was going to unfold, the, the timing of things. They may have given you the impression that things are moving quicker or will very soon, um, more so than what they were because this person's still clammed up, silent. They're slow. And it's because they're trying to um, create stability. They're feeling very insecure within the relationship because they're very insecure within themselves. They don't feel like they're good enough. So they're fearful of getting too close to you because then they feel like you'll see the real them. You'll be disappointed by them. You won't be happy and you'll end it. You'll um, reject them, basically. They're fearful of rejection. That's why they have this tendency to hide in their shell in their life in general is what I'm feeling. Very withdrawn, introvert, shy, insecure and wise. They're clever, though. They're clever. Um... But like I said, in most cases, they're not purposely trying to hurt you and deceive you just to use you. They're, um, well, deep down, it, it partly is that they love that you love them. They love this attention you're giving them and the approval. But I feel like this person does have genuine feelings for you as well because they also feel head over heels fell in love quickly they're infatuated they find you irresistible you know they're hooked on you and they they they're so hooked on you they depend they've become dependent on you and i feel like this person's basing their sense of self-worth um on how you see them on so they're ghosting it's like the real them is hiding away Running, avoiding, feeling overwhelmed, difficult emotions, bottling up feelings, silent treatment. So this may be a case of any time they feel like you're getting too close to them 
or you're asking for answers, um, then they start running or avoiding you or being in denial of, of your connection altogether or something. Um, but then once they've pushed you away to a safe distance again, then they'll try and reel you in again. They're still holding on. So this weekend, it could have been one of these cycles has happened where they're ghosting you, but then they're, they're trying to hold on to you by trying to keep you hooked in some kind of way, not letting you go, wanting to be together, can't move on, feeling lost without you, needing you and dependency. But I feel like they're trying to create a codependency. They're trying to subconsciously make you need them as much as they need you, okay? And they may have learned it's through, you know, kind of uh, manipulative ways or playing games. I mean, there's a load of crap out there on the internet about playing mind games to keep someone hooked. It may be a case that they're very insecure and they, they've they had um, access to all that kind of information or maybe it could be like friends telling them they've got to play hard to get in some way, shape or form or something like that. Um and crossroads need to make a decision unsure dilemma in some cases it could be a third party but i'm not feeling that for the vast majority of you watching this basically i'm seeing this as love versus fear and burying their head in their sand a lot or burying their head in the shell a lot and being really slow and clammed up but then you know that they, they can't let you go because they're they're obsessed with you I'm go I'm going for it. <laughs> Zero. Um, this is the full card. Taking a leap of faith. This person, they really, really, really wish they had the courage to be like the full and be fearless and go for it. This is what they daydream about. This is what they're thinking about this weekend. In some cases, they could reach out to you. And for them, it may be something small, but for them, it's like huge. It's a huge, big deal. Um, but in some cases, this has been them making out that they're going for it. But then there's the shell. But slow and steady wins the race. Uh, that's one of their belief systems, I feel. They want it, They want things to progress slowly. They may be feeling that you're impatient. Maybe you feel like they're so slow that some that often they go backwards even, or they just come to a halt when they've gone into that shell. <laughs> I can't let you go. Yeah, for four of pentacles. So that is the holding on card again. That is because they're so afraid of losing you. It actually grinds them to a halt. They're spending so much time trying to hold on to you that that takes so much of their energy that they don't have the energy to move forward and be free flowing and really just being spontaneous and going for it. They're in that resistant energy of holding on and trying to stay in control um, and being very fearful of just being spontaneous, open, vulnerable. I love you with all of my heart and soul, the King of Cups. So yeah, this is what I was feeling. This person has genuine love for you. And it's really eating them up inside this weekend, I feel, that they can't, they feel like they can't just express this to you. They feel like, they know that they're not doing things in the best of ways. They're not going about your connection in the best of ways, the most healthy of, of ways. And so they're beating themselves up about it. They feel like there's something wrong with them. And I feel like in some cases you may have indirectly, unintentionally rejected or made this person feel rejected because you may be getting impatient. I feel like they are, that tortoise is wise. They have a strong intuition. They know when you're thinking that they're being an idiot. They know when you're thinking that this person's being really weird and that that's kind of like and energetically they feel that rejection so they kind of feel foolish and they fear coming forward because they know you're thinking that of them so you're already kind of 
uh, thinking the worst of them or you're thinking that they're incompetent and you know that may be justified I'm not trying to blame you the viewer for that I'm just saying that um, they're picking up on that if that if that resonates they feel like you don't believe in them I lay awake at night worrying about us nine of swords so yeah this weekend they're having sleepless nights they're ruminating about things they're trying to problem solve um they're they're always thinking about you is what i'm feeling so this isn't anything new really but i lay awake at night worrying about us is over the top of the holding on so that yeah they they fear that you're slipping through their fingers at this time i'm totally broken ten of swords so yeah, they, they feel like they're broken. They feel like there's something wrong with them because they know they're like back and forth. They know they have this love and then these intense fears and they know it creates an emotional roller coaster. But it starts out within them and then it's projected onto you subconsciously through their actions and then you feel this emotional roller coaster and they blame themselves for it and they feel like a mess. They feel like they're broken. So that, I'm hearing that's partly why they wore a mask as well, because they thought that if you see how all over the place they really are, how fearful they are, then you'll get tired of that, or you'll be like, oh, no, nah, this isn't for me. Yes, my love for you is real. Never doubt it. So in your heart, you know that this person loves you very deeply. You know that the love is real. But everything that happens, this roller coaster does cause you to doubt. So this this weekend, they're really regretting feeling or feeling bad because they feel like you're doubting their love for them. I'm trying so hard to figure out how to make it work between us. Yeah, that's why they're laying at night. Sorry, laying awake at night, worrying about your connection, worrying about what you're thinking of them, worrying that you've closed the door on them. And I feel like this isn't just this weekend. This has been going on a long time. Them trying to figure out how to uh, be brave, courageous, be confident, to really just be open and vulnerable and express their feelings to you. I'm ready to commit to you 100%. So, again, they're really thinking about how to have that courage to do what their heart desires. They want that. 100% commitment I feel foolish when I see how immature I was in the past so yeah this person has an awareness that they've maybe pushed you away because of wearing that mask and they feel immature they feel foolish they feel like they couldn't look you in the eye that's the energy I'm picking up with that so that's also why they've retreated into their shell at times because they know that you're very intuitive. They know that you see through their masks, but that was like their pattern throughout their life. So when you first met them, they still had that pattern. So that's what they did. And they feel like they started off on the wrong foot, but they didn't know how to do it differently. No one is like you. You are so incredibly special to me. So they've put you on a pedestal. They feel like you're too good for them, basically, and that they don't feel good enough. And this has been like their major insecurity. And they have all these subconscious fears that if you reject them, it's going to uh, be proving their biggest fear that they're not good enough. So I'm going to continue this reading over in Vimeo or alternatively, if you join the membership, you have access to this extended reading and all the extended readings, as well as a weekly additional pick a card reading, weekly Twin Flame Energy Update podcasts and a monthly healing meditation. That's on the membership. So I hope to see you either on Vimeo or in the membership for this extended reading. The details are below this video in the description box. And if this has resonated with you, please give it a thumbs up, write a comment, share it and subscribe. It really helps me out. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.